New tonight, the largest solar panel installation in the state of Indiana is now producing power. The $1.5 billion project is so huge, even its name is Mammoth. ABC 57's Annie Kate live at the Mammoth North Solar Farm in Knox, where they just flipped the switch today. Annie? Hey, Brian, today, 900 thousand solar panels are connecting to the grid in Stark and Pulaski counties. The 400 megawatt project is enough to power up 75,000 homes and that's just phase one of three of the Mammoth North solar project. Now, meanwhile, residents across the state are protesting what they call industrial solar as more projects are proposed in neighboring counties. But with this project, the leaders behind it say the agriculture isn't going anywhere. Check it out. The Mammoth North Solar Project comes online in Knox Tuesday as leaders flip the symbolic switch to turn on the 400 megawatt solar farm in Stark County. We're doing something very special with our solar project. We're bringing traditional farming back to these farm fields. At a time when some communities fight what they call industrial solar, worried about the depletion of prime farmland, leaders say the land will still be cultivated using a method called agrivoltaics. Agrivoltaic is the, is the term for agriculture in and around solar panels. We're bringing sheep and crops to the solar field, so we're integrating them. How does it work? Well, over the 13,000 acres of solar fields, only about 20% actually has solar. The rest is green space. We're going to grow food underneath these solar panels. I have started a sheep herd, so we might actually be grazing sheep underneath those panels. Dural Renewables, the company behind the array, confirming 75 lease agreements with landowners, including farmers like Norm Walker. Because this, this will be a better, you know, more economically positive way to farm. You know, row crop farming is a tough game. Mammoth North Solar connecting to the power grid as concerned citizens continue to fight projects in neighboring counties. What are you saying to people who are so against what they call industrial solar? It's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. You know, when you say a ton of pushback, I don't think, is there a ton? There's a few folks that, you know, minority that, well, they don't want to see them, you know. For farmers like Scott Fritz, a fifth generation farmer in Pulaski County, solar is the future. You know, back in the day, we grew, farmers grew oats and hay to provide energy for the transportation system. Today, we provide a lot of ethanol for transportation. And so the future, I believe, is providing electricity. Because he says, after all, I've farmed long enough to know that there's always change. Now, like I said, this is just phase one of three for the Mammoth North Solar Project. Now, ultimately, when it's all done, it will produce 1.3 gigawatts of, ele of electricity. Now, that is more than, of course, anything else in the state potentially one of the largest solar installations in the country. Live today in downtown Knox, I'm Annie Kate, ABC 57 News. It is a very big project, Annie.